Hey guys, my name is Mike Russo and I'm joined here today with Dylan Silbernagel and we both represent Keller Williams. I am the tech ambassador for Keller Williams Realty Centers and Dylan happens to sit on the ALC group as the tech chair. And today we're going to be introducing our new segment called the Tech Enabled Agent. Yeah, so Mike and I came up with the idea for the Tech Enabled Agent with the purpose of helping our, our agents find more clients, better serve the clients that they have, and ultimately grow your business through tech. Uh, and that's how we came up with this. And so we wanted to start today with talking about running some social media paid ads and the difference between should we be using command as our platform to run those ads or should we be using Facebook? Uh, and so Mike and I have had this discussion a couple of times, mostly because we had the pleasure of taking the Ryan Surahan social media class together in the fall. And obviously with the platform that he has, it made more sense that Facebook was where everybody was running their ads and that was the one that he advocated for. But we know that uh, Keller Williams and Facebook are strategic partners together in terms of getting our, I guess, realtor ads out there to the public and on Facebook as a platform. So I, I just want to jump in real quick with Mike. What was your impression first when we were going through this and trying to figure out which one made the most sense? Because Ryan Serhan's a pretty... Um, I guess, impressionable guy. He makes you want to be like, yeah, I, I think he's onto something there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's exactly it. Like, I remember when we took that course, we kind of like at the end of it, I was kind of like, shoot, maybe I should be using uh, Facebook ad center or whatever it's called. Because, mm -hmm. you know, he walked through the whole process of how he runs his ads, what he does, how he targets different markets with it. And I thought, wow, that's really incredible. But then again, like it, it took me away from the command ads that we run through our mm -hmm. Keller Williams program. Um, and I actually think that actually hurt to be honest. And we'll go over some numbers a little bit later on in comparison, because obviously we did that comparison. Um, but yeah, overall at the beginning, I definitely was like, okay, I'm going to stick with the Facebook ad center. Uh, seems to be the best. Ryan Serhan, one of the biggest realtors in the world is currently running it. So it's gotta be good for him. Um, and kind of went from there really. This springtime we revisited it. So I, I reached down to you to challenge um, challenge you to a little contest. I was going to use Facebook ads for one of our listings. You were going to yeah. use command ads for that same listing. Uh, and we were just going to compare the results. And so that's what we're here for today is to just show you. We ran a little test, same listing. We ultimately, funny enough, used some of the same pictures. Our, yeah, that's our right. Our ad copy is a little different, but we yeah. don't have to get too into the weeds on that today because the results in terms of impressions and click-through are going to end dollars spent is going to show the difference between the two platforms, right? Yeah, absolutely. Do you want me to start off by kind of going through my ad and then we can jump into yours and That's do a, you know, a, Let's hear it. a comparison? Okay, so basically uh, some language that we're probably going to want to know just before we jump into the ad. Um, <clears throat> I'll work through it as we go along. So um, our ad basically, it ran for five days. I think you did the same thing, five yeah, days as well. Yeah, same length. Yep. Um, so the first stat that I have, it's called the CPM which is essentially the cost per um, 1,000 impressions. So essentially when I pay for my ad, I spent a total of $12 um, and that now breaks down to the amount of people that saw it, which was 1,771 impressions. Mm -hmm. So it breaks down to you know $6.78 per 1,000 uh, impressions, right? And then the next stat after that is the CPC, which is the cost per click. So of those 1,771 people, how many people clicked on it, right? So uh, for that, for me is 120 clicks, which averages out to about 10 cents per click, right? Based on that same figure, the $12 figure. Now the last step, which is the most crucial amount is the CPLC, the cost per lead captured. So of those 120 people, how many of them actually submitted information like their phone number, their email address, and wanted to know more about the property. So for me, I ended up getting 14 leads out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and that cost me 86 cents per lead. Uh, and as you know, I spent $12 uh, per lead as well. Yeah, so uh, that's great number. So I'm going to jump right into mine as well so we can kind of compare them side by side. So I spent more money. This was not on purpose. <laughs> Facebook got me and I was, you know, late getting my ad up. So anyways, I went with the default budget, which ended up being $45. So it was almost four times as much money as Mike spent. So we're going to compare them. Looking back with that in mind as well, same time frame. Now my impressions for four times as much money was 3,166, which is almost two times more impressions than Mike had, but at almost four times the cost, 
right? So something's not adding up there. We know already mm -hmm. that command is saving us money to get our impressions out there. Then mm -hmm. when I looked through at my clicks, I had 121 clicks compared to your 120. So we're pretty much mm -hmm. one to one there. And then my leads that came through was 12 compared to your 14. So mm -hmm. pretty similar, but again, four times the budget. Mm -hmm. And then my cost per lead was $3.75 compared to your 86 cents a lead. Yeah, yeah, which is crazy if you think about it. Like, it's nuts to think that if you put something on Facebook versus putting something through our command, uh, you know, social media ad thing, the difference that each one has, right? Again, mm -hmm. like the, the biggest stat there is the, um, the impressions. Like you yeah. got double the impressions for four times the spend. So yeah. I'm curious to see, like, if I were to spend the same amount you did, how many more impressions I would have gotten over you just based on that, right? Yeah. Um, and I think that's like the biggest thing that not a lot of people realize is important because the more people that see the ad, the more likely it is that people will click on the ad. And then from people that click on the ad, the more likely it is that you'll actually capture their information, right? Which is our goal. At the end of the day, our goal is to convert the leads into, you know, contracts. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to get to that part in a second. But I think the important thing just to acknowledge, like, as business owners, we want to know if we're spending money in the right places. And so if I'm going to spend four times as much money as you, I want four times the results. And clearly, I didn't get that with with my ad. And we can go down and break down the difference between the two ads, because there's always going to be little minute details there to say maybe one perform better. But the fact that for my dollar spend, I should get more impressions than you're getting, I should get more clicks than you're getting ultimately looking at my ad. And that just wasn't mm -hmm. the case. Yeah, yeah, which is crazy to think about, you know, yeah. it's, it's unfortunate, but yeah, that it wasn't the case in this instance. So well, next, it definitely next shows. Trial was switching. I'm using command. You're going to use Facebook. And yeah, that's right. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Anyways, before before we move on, I want you to tell me about the result that you had from your from your ad. That you yeah. Had. So as you know, I had 14 leads. So I had then followed up with those 14 leads as we're supposed to do. And of that, I was able to book a uh, a buyer appointment. Went on the buyer appointment. It was incredible. You know, very nice lady. Turns out. She's shopping for her daughter, who I happen to know because I, we went ended up going to the same school together. Long story short, after showing the daughter a couple homes, we are actually like in an hour from this video being recorded, submitting an offer on a property for her to then purchase, right? So at the end of the day, if you break it down, 86 cents is what that one lead cost me. And it is now turning into a deal, hopefully going to be you know done today. If not, we'll have to find her something else. But yeah. Again, that's a huge opportunity for 86 cents. You know, I wish I could pay all my leads at 86 cents. That would be incredible, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And and what a what a great outcome, right? The the fact that we ran the ad, it was honestly like we're obviously running ads trying to pick up more clients, but in this in this situation in particular, we did it for this purpose to figure out which one was running better. And here you've mm -hmm. got somebody putting on paper, you've got like a, a buyer contract now and an mm -hmm. offer written. Yeah, crazy. Crazy how, you know, one simple ad and again it was just a friendly competition we i didn't to be honest i didn't think anything was going to come of it and all of a sudden you you make the calls and you do the follow-up and all of a sudden boom there's there's a deal happening from that right which is yeah. incredible yeah. yeah i love it i love it so i think that i think that kind of wraps it up for today in terms of command versus facebook like if you're looking at where you're going to be running your ads for the time being keep running them through command yeah absolutely Touching uh, just some one last touch there. We are going to be doing a lot more of these kind of videos for uh, for all of our viewers out there. So if you guys have any questions about different programs, be sure to send it to us and we'll kind of take a deep dive into it. We're going to be rolling with some other programs at the same time, just so that you understand what technologies you can use to really grow your business um, that you might not be currently using or not or might not be using to the fullest potential. Right. So. I, I want to say that we're going to try to target our videos to be 10 to 15 minutes long. That way it's a short little snippet. Um, that you can get maximum uh, value and walk away with. So as of right now, I think that's the end of our video and uh, can't wait till next week's video. Uh, Dylan, do you have any final remarks? No, that's it. I'm just looking forward to bringing more value to our agents. And, and I love how it's raising my game as you and I go back and forth on these kind of new initiatives. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm just looking forward to the next one. Awesome. Take care, guys.